Hey everybody, this is Dr. Brown, and we're going to go over weight painting today on 3D Studio Max. So let's look at it using a very basic file, a basic model. So I'm going to go to File, and then I'm going to go to Import. Import, uh, where do I put this? Downloads. No base, there we go. Okay, it's going to ask you what you want, and you just want, you want all, which is just that. You're going to hit Import. <clears throat> okay. So now we've got our character here that we need to go ahead and put a skeleton into. So I'm just going to scale them down a little bit. Doo -doo. All right. So now what we need is the cat skeleton. So I'm going to change this to cat objects, go to cat parent, and go to base human. Uh, and then I'm just going to drag this out. And don't worry, we'll get them both at zero, zero in just a second. So I'm going to raise that. There we go. So that's pretty close to the right size. Now... What we're going to do to zero these out is I'm going to select this character and I'm going to hit W and he is already zeroed out. So I'm going to select the the uh, master for the cat system and I'm going to zero this out. So zero, zero. There we go. So now it's lined up exactly with the character. And then we can go ahead and start adjusting from there. So I know the pelvis should go forward a little bit. Okay. So now comes the process of actually having to line up the bones with uh, his arms, his legs, all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, select the body, and I'm going to make it see-through. So there's a couple ways you can do that. You can hit Alt-X, which makes it see-through. Or you can go to the display panel over here, and you can go to display properties, and you can check see-through. So the same thing as hitting Alt-X. Um, you can just check it there. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this skeleton all lined up for where I want him to go. So I'm just going to start rotating here and getting him in place. And you can see that my gimbal here is for the world coordinates, not for my local coordinates. So I'm just going to go over here to where it says view. And I'm going to change that to local. Now, you might have another problem of when you're trying to click bones, you're just going to end up clicking his body. So to fix that, you can change your selection isolation tool to cat bone. So then you have that, and you can actually go ahead and start adjusting. So you can see that I've changed my um, gimbal here to local. It's actually a lot better on his arm. But I'm also free to adjust his arm in this position right now, so I'm going to do that. And get it all to the right size. His hand should be rotated that way. So if I switch to my scale tool, you can see that the scale tool is also not correct. So I'm going to go ahead and switch that to local. And of course, the move tool is not correct, so each tool can be adjusted. There we go. Let's move this back in place here. This arm's too long. Okay. That's pretty close, decent. So now the easiest thing to do is just select this bone. Uh, copy limb settings, and then mirror that to the other side. I'm just going to mirror that. So there we go. And let's kind of look at the head here. So the head, we want to be fully controlled by this bone. So I'm going to go ahead and get that centered, as close to centered in his head as possible. That way it, it tries to bind it uh, to the head. Let's go ahead and adjust the legs here. Okay. Again, remember if you're moving the legs, always move the legs with the uh, rectangle at the bottom. Don't try to move them um, by grabbing the bones. Okay. So his knee is not exactly in the right place, so I'm going to go ahead and scale that 
I'm trying to get his knee better. There we go. I'm going to slightly bend this. That way I just have the rotation. Perfect. So select this leg, copy, paste it onto this side. There we go. Okay, now comes the really, really fun part of where we're actually going to bind the skin to the bone. So let's go ahead and turn off my selection tool, right? So that way I can select the body. Select the body, go to my modifier list, and I'm going to type skin because I want the skin modifier. Then I'm going to go to bones and add. And I'm going to select the pelvis. Now, if I just select the pelvis, it's only going to bind the pelvis. So the entire mesh is going to get bound to the pelvis, which we don't want at all. So what we're going to do instead is with the pelvis selected, I'm going to hit control C, which selects all the children of the pelvis. And I'm going to go ahead and hit select. So now what that does is that's assigned all the bones. So let's go ahead and check it out. So if I go to my animation layer, Apply an animation layer real quick. Click play. Let's go ahead and rotate his, his arm and see what kind of bending and breaking we get. Okay. So just rotating it like that, we've got a couple of spots that are breaking. Um, so we have this spot is ripping off his body here, and we need to fix that. So I'm going to go ahead and fix just that part, um, and that kind of gives you an idea of how we're going to do it for the whole mesh. Uh, and that way this video is a little bit shorter. So let's kind of look at this real quick. So I might want to get rid of see-through. That way I can kind of see it. Like, okay. So we got some stretching here that we don't necessarily want to happen. Um, and some caving in right there. Let's see what we can do. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Modifier, Skin, and then Envelope. The envelope shows you the bone and what control it has. Let me turn on edged faces. There we go. Okay. So now all you're going to do is go into each bone. So if I select his arm bone, if I select in that little tiny thing, it shows you where it has full control. So it has full control over all the red areas, right? Uh, and then less control over everything else. So then what we have to do is figure out which other bone is controlling this. So it's probably the chest bone. Yep, it's the chest bone. So now what we can do is we can start fixing these little. Um, bins and stuff that are happening. So I'm going to go ahead and click on vertices. And then I can select these vertices that are causing a problem. Okay. So I've got all those vertices there. And then I'm going to scroll down to what we have is absolute effect. So what this does is we can tell it that, hey, I want you to take over more control of this, but still not full control. I want that arm to move a little bit of that bone. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give it control. I'm going to give it 0.5 control, and you'll see that, that body bend back, right? So there you go. So the body bent back into place because I gave it full control. So you can actually adjust that value, or not full control. I gave it 0.5. So I can do like 0.3. Um, and you can you can try to find that right balance that gives you the correct bending on that area um, without the massive deformation. So like 0.5 looks pretty good. We could do 0.7. 0.7 is probably going to give us see that that's going to give us a bit too much of one there. So let's drop that back down to 0.5. There you go. Okay. And that's kind of it. You're just going to do this for each vertex that you see that you want to fix that stretching on. So we'll again give this one 0.5, and that's going to bring that back down, and you can see that it looks better already. This one, let's give it 0.5, bring it back down a little bit. Okay. And that still sticks out a little bit. So we'll, we'll have to go through and adjust all the values. And you're going to do that for each bone, okay? So for each bone, you're going to go and look at the envelopes and see where you have to change the vertex controls and where or where you have to change the vertex amounts here. Uh, and this is just one way to do it. You can also try just scaling the envelope. Like you can actually scale the envelope, and it'll kind of adjust in real time. So you can see that happening. 
Um, so you can do that. And, and if you can get good results doing that, then you're, you're perfectly fine. Uh, but for the most part, we just want to try to get this guy rigged um, so that he animates smoothly without tearing too much. And that should get this done. Thanks a lot. I hope you enjoyed.